Come on, y'all. I'm working from home with nothing to do. Come chit-chat with me. Friday morning. Today is Friday and I'm working from home. I'm washing clothes and running errands. Got up early this morning and got my work done. And I'm about to go get my clothes out of the dryer. I do want to tell you this. At the Dollar Tree, they have this. It smells amazing. It's Palmolive um, dishwashing spray. It smells really good. Um, it said it's a cut grease. Sorry. Really good. Um, I tried on some stuff and it didn't work. No, I'm, I can't say it didn't work. I just had to use a whole lot. But I am going to get more because when I spray down my stove and stuff, it really works. So I got two. I'm about to go get about three or four more. Um, today I am going to pull all of my home decor out of my pantry, my cabinet, and put it on the table. And I'm going to go through them. I'm going to tell you, have y'all with me. And my wall decor. I got some more. So I'm going to do that. Um, cause I think I'm gonna take that down. Like really nobody really does like small pieces. Well, I can't say that. I don't want to do small pieces. I want to have like big pieces, but I'm not going to buy anything. We ain't trying to add, we're trying to take away. So, um, and my chairs that I did a video on that I covered, I'm actually going to buy some markdown material because Joanne's and Hobby Lobby, mostly Joanne's are sending me this 60% off stuff and I'm gonna go and get some material. Mark down material and try to make slip covers eventually with them, but I want to get them. What else? I don't think I'm going to tackle my stories today. Uh, but yeah, so I am definitely going to do the home decor, <clears throat> clean the kitchen, buy the stuff in the chair. Something else I'm supposed to do in here. I don't know. But anyway, so today is dedicated to my kitchen. Not the whole day, but you know. Just until I get done and then we'll do something else. But other than that, I will be back. Let me go and um, check my clothes in the dryer, guys. Okay. This is about a flattering <clears throat> way of propping up this phone. Look at my back there. Ugh. I hate seeing it on other people, so I hate seeing it myself also. Let me try to cover that up. Anyway, I got y'all in my cup holder. Ugh, it's, it's, it's dripping out. Ugh. Our, the people who cut our grass are just trifling. They're just useless. There's a tree that's next to my place, and they just need to, like, cut it so I can bring my car straight back. I don't want the, the branches to scratch the side of my car. But anyway, so I'm heading to go get my clothes out of the dryer and see if it's dry. Um, there was something I wanted to say, and I can't remember. Why is that? I don't know. What did I want to say? I, want, I got back on to tell you guys something while I'm driving can't see me this sun is bright um what did i want to tell you guys i want to tell you something and i totally forgot what it is oh yeah so i go down to the local laundromat down from my house there's a young guy that owns it and i go early in the morning he keeps it clean of course when he's not there people come in and just ravage the place but he has a young girl that comes and clean early in the morning they open up and chit chat and they're really cool um but I'm really thinking about once I kind of calm down on a lot of my bills, it's getting me a wash and dry. But I don't want the full size one because, of course, they would have to be outside in the, in the storage unit, which I'll show you that because I got to go and clean that out anyway. Um, but I want to get the, the the mini ones that I see all over YouTube. I just don't know what kind of get. They got the one that looks like a big plastic toy. I don't want that one. And then they have the other ones that it looks like your regular wash and dry is just smaller. It's more compact. So I really need to think about doing that. Um, Want to get the washer and dryer. They got even the stands or whatever. So it's like either I can prop it up in my kitchen or I can prop it upstairs up by my bathroom or whatever and just have everything on wheels and kind of go from there. One person had a stand where the washer went to the bottom and the dryer was on top. So it's like... You don't see me a whole car and then, you know people do the craziest stuff when they drive it and then they look at you like you stupid anyway um i would have to if i got both of them wheels for both of them I, they can't stack on each other obviously but um so i'm thinking about it like my clothes get washed here but what i don't like is with these newer washing machines whether they're in the laundromat or you can buy them they don't have a lot of water for some reason someone thought of the bright idea of when you wash your clothes you don't need a lot of water 
that's a lie from the pits of hell. Whoever this person is is nasty, and they don't like to clean. They don't know how to properly clean. They were never taught how to clean. I don't care what nobody said. You can't wash nothing with a little bit of water. I do not care because my thing is you have a lot more water. I'm not going to say the water is not going to get dirty. It is, but, I mean, like, a little bit of water and a lot of dirt, you just you just wash it in the dirt. And with a lot more water, yes, you're going to have some dirt, but not as much. Like, the water won't be as dark. Let's say, for example, you have, like, a small amount of water and you put something dirty in it. That water is going to be completely dark. <clears throat> But if you have a lot more water and you put something dirty in, it's not going to be really dark. It's going to have a shade of gray or whatever the case may be. You get what I'm saying. So I don't think it's being fully washed or you have to put it in a bigger washer. The bigger the washer you put in, even though you got a bunch of space left over, it produces a lot more water. I need a whole lot of water. I'm just saying that when I wash off, I need a whole lot of water. When I wash dishes, I need a whole lot of water. I try to wash this with a little bit of water. That did not work for me. I just, you know, it is what it is. But I'm here. So, let me go in here, and I'll be back here with you guys. You know what? I washed this car, and I just noticed a dent on the top of the car. And I'm thinking to myself, that wasn't just on there. Like, that that just happened, and I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm not paying attention. I need to pull this bra up over this fat. This is nasty. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to lose weight. And, anyway, I don't know. I need to, like, really do a mental picture of this car because like I said I'm starting to see stuff that I didn't see before but I don't think I'm I don't know maybe I'm tripping I don't know maybe I'll do a video or something in it. anyway um another thing too why well, I need to go ahead I wasn't going to do the dryer but I may end up buying the dryer I was just going to do the washing machine but the other issue I have is when I dry clothes it don't be completely dry. Like, I can put it in a whole dollar or one twenty-five, and it's not dry. Like, I just put in a dollar twenty-five. I had, like, four minutes. One of them already dried, and then the other one is drying. So, the other one had my heavier clothes because I separate my clothes between the light and the heavy. So, the one with the heavier load, I put a dollar twenty-five in. I always put a minimum of one twenty-five because it's heavier. Um, it kind of also depends on how much I got in there also. So, I don't have a lot. So I just put in another 50 cents. I'll come in here, and it's been a couple of times where I don't have to put more money in. So, I don't know. I think I may buy the washer first, and then just bring the clothes down here to dry. But drying it is like two fifty seventy five, maybe almost $3. And washing and drying is, I guess it depends on how much money the washes like my washes like if I come every week is two dollars two fifty today it was like I put in a bigger washer so it was like five something so I spent about five six seven almost almost eight dollars yeah so if I just got the washer and then brought it down here to dry it would cost me almost three dollars so I am saving a little I don't know about having a dryer in the house we'll see but I think the prices of them have dropped because everyone's out and washing clothes and stuff but I really want to get one. Um, I want to get the biggest one that it have, but I don't want the full size. I want to have it in the house. Our wash and dryers hookup is in the, our um, outside storage unit. Okay, so matter of fact, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I want to run to the Dollar Tree. Right quick. I'm trying to debate how I want to do this. Because I have my basket of clothes inside there. And I want to kind of just leave it. And run to the Dollar Tree. Oh, I'll probably just wait. Is that the date? That is the date. I didn't know it shows the date. Oh. My bad. My bad. Hmm. Huh. Somebody changed out the radio in this car. And, um... And it has this touch screen, and it also has a Bluetooth in here, so I can talk through the radio. And I would need to, um, I would need to go online, put in the, um, item number, which is actually in the front, it's a Pioneer, and, um,
get a manual and see how I, how everything works. So. Somebody evidently had their phone. You can use the phone. You can, um, I guess, plug your phone in. But I think they had an iPhone, and I don't have iPhones. Um, Bluetooth audio. You can plug your phone up to the radio. I really want to do that because the radio sucks. I mean, there's nothing really ever good on the radio, as far as I'm concerned. It's the same old mess. I listen to, like, the Steve Harvey show in the morning and his nephew. Ugh. But anyway, so yeah. So let me not sit here and just flop my gums. I'll get back on when I leave the Dollar Tree Hobby Lobby, and then I'll record. Oh, they're already at 10 minutes. I'll record um, my home decor. So let me go. Even after I get done auditing, I'm not auditing this, editing this, I'll cut it down anyway. So, um, I'll do the Dollar Tree thing in the home decor and clean the kitchen when I get back. So, I will talk with you guys in a few. Listen, I'm already 11 minutes in, so I don't think I'm going to do on this video, um, I'm trying to cover this. <laughs> on this video, my, um, kitchen decor. But what I'm going to do is, um, after I post this, then I'm going to come and I'm going to do another video. So, you're going to see the same dress, same stuff on Quick Dollar Tree haul. I always try to get this. I don't ever want a cold. I hate having a cold. Maximum strength haul relief um, for sore throats. So I got this from the Dollar Tree. I got this for a co-worker. It's an ink pen. I got these and I don't need them. But the only reason why I got them because they're bigger and they're thicker. And they got diamonds in them. I need to quit wasting my money on stuff like this. I got these, so when I send up my Poshmark orders, I can write Fragile on here. Dollar Tree used to have the Fragile stickers, but I haven't seen them in, like, years. I need this because I broke my broom. So, how did I break my broom? I was trying to kill a water bug. If you're in South Carolina, you know what the hell I'm talking about. It's just evil. And I went and got these. I got four of these. And then I got this, but it was in the $5 section. New clean once a year. Car polish. And it's not a wax, so... I've heard good things about it. There was a guy who said you take a little bit of this and you put it on your windshield on the inside. So, like, when it's cold or you know how when you get in your car and, and you have to defrost the inside, he said you don't have to do this. So, I'm going to try it out. We'll also use it on my car. So, um, yeah, let me get in here. And I'll be right back with you guys. Let me go in my house and log back in and see if anyone email me. Deuces. Okay. I'm in the house. So... I don't know. I've done a lot of videos, but I've deleted them because they were long and boring. <sighs> anyway, that's home decor. And excuse the dishes. I'm about to clean the kitchen. That's home decor down in that cabinet. And that's my kitchen table. I'm about to load it up. So I will be back with... So I emptied out up here. That stuff is just like... Um, table, like um, napkins, napkin rings, blah, blah, blah. That's what they are. So I'm not taking that out. And this is that cabinet that's empty. Look at the water spots. I had something that um, late. It was cleaning. It was a, a cleaning thing. But this is all the home decor. Like these are the candles I got on clearance for the holidays. See, this is all the stuff. Like I got these. All this home decor. And I got to get rid of some of this stuff. I still want to get rid of a lot of it. So I hate the knick-knack things. Like these are candles. I'll keep. But I'm about to go through and get rid of. And i most likely probably do it on another video. Go through all the stuff that I have. So um, yeah. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great rest of your day. I will post part two shortly.